On the eve of the Democratic National Convention, our CBS News poll continues to show the national vote doesn't decide the presidency as those battleground states. And if you unpack that and look at our estimates in each of those individual battlegrounds, what you see is close race after close race. That is because, number one. Number two, on your question about defining Kamala Harris. So you see, a third of voters say they still don't know exactly what she stands for. Interesting. interesting, but maybe not surprising, right? Because this is all so new, this reset race. How similar or different is she to Joe Biden? Because Joe Biden was trailing in this race, right? But Democrats still like him. So we ask people, how similar is she? And the bulk of voters say they think she's mostly similar in policies and views to Joe Biden, more men voting for Trump. But the key thing is the why. First of all, you see more women feeling that Kamala Harris will be someone who fights for people like them than men say that. Men say that more about Donald Trump. Look at that key issue of the economy. There's a couple of things here. One is that Harris trails Trump on the economy, on inflation, on the border, all key important issues. Among women voters, she does a little better on the economy and better than Joe Biden was doing. So women are giving her a little more benefit of the doubt on that. What? I think that starts to show you if the, the things that haven't changed, the border remains to the advantage of Donald Trump. More voters think that it would be his policies that would slow or stop border crossings. And then you look at Harris's connection to what people think the administration has done so far, and they see her as somewhat tied to it, but not necessarily a lot. Again, that's part of that space in which they'll be trying to define what's her record been Fascinating. Anthony Salvanto, thank you. Thank you. And you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just a more woke.